Okay, um, in this video, we're going to compare two theorems for finding powers of complex numbers. Uh, it's uh, going to be the binomial theorem and uh, De Moivre's theorem. So we're going to be working through uh, these uh, two expansions. Uh, in the first instance, we're going to use the binomial theorem. And then uh, in the second uh, instance, we're going to use De Moivre's theorem and uh, then compare um, the effort in each case. Um, we're going to, in each case, leave uh, the answer in rectangular form. Okay, so let's get on with the first one. Um, so in the first one, we have uh, square root 3 over 2 plus i over 2 raised to the power of 5. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to factor out the 1 half because uh, both terms have got uh, that factor. Uh, raise this to the power of 5. So this is going to be 1 over 2 to the power of 5. Uh, root 3 plus i to the power 5, 2 to the power 5 is uh, 32. So that bit is already done. So then all we need to do is to use the binomial theorem to go through this to expand that one. Um, I'm going to use... Um, we're going to use um, Pascal's triangle for our coefficients. So we have got 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. Got power 5, there, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and 1, 5. 10, 10, 5, 1. Uh, just in case, um, so each of the numbers in the subsequent uh, columns are obtained by adding the two numbers above it. Like 1 plus 1, they give us 2. 3 plus 3 gives us 6. 1 plus 3 gives us 4, etc. So for power 5, the coefficients are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. So what um, we're going to have then is the following. So we're going to have 1 over 32 root 3 plus i to the power 5. So for the first term, uh, it's just going to be root 3 to the power 5 plus... Then in the second term, the coefficient is going to be 5. From here, the power of root 3 goes down by 1, so it's now going to be 4. And then the power of this term uh, goes up to 1 because it was 0 here. So these powers go down and these powers of this one go up. For the next term, the coefficient is 10. Power of root 3 is now going to be 3. Power of i is 2. And then for the next term, the coefficient is another 10. Power of root 3 is now down to 2. Power of i is up to 3. The last but one term, the coefficient is 5 again. Power of root 3 is down to 1. Power of i is up to 4. Then the next term is the last term. It's just going to be i to the power 5. Right, so those are the six terms of your binomial expansion. Um, so all you need to do now is to simplify them. 
now for the uh, roots um we're going to show you um an approach um, so we don't cal we don't punch them in the calculator so for this one for instance we take advantage of the fact that square root to an even number um, works out to a rational number so um, root 3 to the power 5 we're going to write as root 3 to the power 4 times root 3 root 3 to the power 4 is the same as uh, 3 squared um, so that's going to be 9 root 3 for this term here um, so first term is 9 root 3 then for the second term the root 3 to the power 4 we've just said is 9 so it's going to be 9 times 5 9 times 5 is 45 and then times i here and then similarly root 3 to the power 3 is root 3 squared times root 3 so that's going to be 10 times 3 root 3 i squared is negative 1 from here and going to the next term we have got here root 3 squared is 3 times 10 so that's going to be 30 i cubed is negative i uh, if you haven't watched our video on powers of um, i you might want to do so before you continue with this one in the next problem i'm going to post a link to it just uh, here okay then for the next term we have got five root three um i to the power four is just one and then the last term i to the power five is i to the power four times i so it's 1 times i, so it's just going to be i. Then um, we are going to collect terms, uh, like terms. So they're going to be terms that involve root 3, like this one. And then there are going to be terms that involve i, like this one. So this one is going to be 30 root 3 minus 30 i plus 5 root 3 plus i so we just add the terms involving root 3 separately and the terms involving i separately um, so what's going to happen is uh, if we take the terms involving root 3 um there's going to be this one and this one uh, 9 plus 5 is 14 and then minus 30 uh, maybe let me write that out so the positive ones work out to 14 there's just one negative one the terms involving i um the positive ones uh, this one and this one which is 46 and then this negative one 46 minus 30 is 16 so that one is a bit uh, more straightforward then again uh, 14 minus 30 is negative 16 so this we can write as 16 i minus 16 root 3 then 16 we can factor out um, so it's going to be i minus root 3 so this is now our final answer 1 half into i minus root 3 so that's um, using the binomial expansion uh, it's relatively involving now um, let's work through the same thing now using the De Moivre's theorem. 
So we have got uh, root 3 over 2 plus i over 2 to the power 5. Um, so for De Moivre's theorem, we need to convert this to polar form. So De Moivre's theorem says that the nth power of this is obtained by just raising the modulus to n and multiplying the argument by n. So from here we need to find r, we need to find theta. Okay, so um, if we write this out as follows, so root 3 over 2 plus i over 2 in coordinate form is simply root 3 over 2, 1 half. So this is a complex number in the first quadrant. Um, the x um, coordinate is root 3 over 2, the y coordinate is 1 half. Um, this distance here is going to be our r. So by um, Pythagoras rule, this is going to be given by the square root of this, which is going to be 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4. So that's the square root of 4 over 4. It's the square root of 1, so that's going to be equal to 1. Theta, the argument, is just going to be this angle here. Simply going to be the inverse tangent of y over x. Uh, that's y over x. So it's going to be inverse tangent of 1 over root 3. Uh, this is just going to be 30 degrees. We can confirm this, punching it in the calculator. So just make sure that we're in the degrees mode. Second function, inverse tangent, 1 divided by square root 3 is equal to 30. Okay, so uh, we have got r, we have got theta. What this means is that root 3 over 2 plus i over 2 is r, which is 1, cis 30. So this to the power 5 is that to the power 5. Then there we raise r to the power 5, but r is 1. We multiply the argument by 5. So it's going to be 5 times 30. So this is going to be CIS 150 degrees. This is cosine 150 plus i, sine 150. Well, 150 is in the second quadrant. Um, the trigonometric values are the same as 30, for 30. So cosine 150, and let's punch it here. So cosine 150 is negative root 3 over 2. And uh, sine 150 is going to be um, 1 half. And so this is uh, our final solution, 1 over 2, i minus root 3. Now, you're going to notice that's exactly the same as what, what we found using the binomial. But you're going to note again that... Uh, Using De Moivre's theorem, this is considerably less effort than what we got using, what we had to go through using the binomial theorem. Right, um, so at this point, we are just going to give you a chance to try out the second one. We want to work this through using first the binomial theorem, then uh, next using De Moivre's theorem. Uh, and then you might want to pause, uh, just pause the video. And then when you continue the video, you can compare with our solution. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solution for part B. 
we would like to uh, thank you for visiting our channel and watching this video we hope that the material is useful uh, we do employ you to press the subscribe button and uh, uh, turn on your notifications so that whenever we post new material you can get it uh, immediately uh, if you have got uh, any questions uh, please uh, would like to um, uh, hear from you post them in the comment section all right uh, please do like the video and uh, share accordingly uh, in part b uh, we've got one minus i root three to the power six so using the binomial expansion this is what the terms are going to look like the terms in red are the binomial coefficients then from here to here we're just working out the signs of each of the terms so this one this term becomes minus here uh, negative squared it becomes plus then you've got i squared and then root 3 squared is uh, root 3 of course uh, negative uh, cubed is negative then i cubed uh, root 3 cubed is going to be 3 root 3 etc this one becomes plus this one becomes minus and this one becomes plus and then i to the power 6 is negative 1 i to the power 5 is negative i so that this term becomes negative i to the power 4 is 1 uh, so this just becomes 135 which is 15 times 9 i to the power 3 is negative i so this term becomes plus i squared is negative and then here there are going to be terms involving i root 3 which we bring together um, so namely you have got uh, 60 of them here then minus 6 and minus 54 is minus 60 so those terms actually cancel out um, and then the the terms that do not involve i they just add up to 64 um, here because you've got 136 and then um, you've got these two here and uh, those two I think are going to work out to uh, 72 and then if you subtract that you're going to get 64 right and then we do this now using the Moivre's theorem so this number um, is uh, in the fourth quadrant these are the coordinates so r is going to be 2 and theta is going to be you can either use negative 60 or you can use uh, 300 we have used uh, negative 60 but you can just confirm that if you go through the same calculation using 300 you'll find exactly the same solution so by de Moivre's theorem we raise this to the power 6, we multiply this by 6, so that becomes 300 and negative 360, but negative 360 is the same as 0. Yeah. And then if you punch this here, uh, then this is going to give us uh, 64 as before. All right, thank you.